All right, so uh, I'm doing a little more Destiny, but uh, uh, you might notice that this guy's gun looks a little different from what I've been using, and I don't know if you notice in the little uh, left corner, the items that he has there, they don't look the same. Well, that's because this is a completely different guy. Yeah. I got, I got three different guys on this game. And this guy is a Titan. So, what is a Titan and what is it like compared to the other guy that I got? Well, the other guy that I got is a Hunter. The Hunter is like the sniper. He's the one-shot, one-kill type of guy. And with this guy being called a Titan, you can kind of probably assume that, oh, well, he's probably the big, strong, tough guy. That's exactly what he is. These are the guys that, like, go in with, you know, full auto machine guns and shit like that. You know, they just shoot up everything, and they're they're basically like, um, oh, where the other guy, the hunter, is more uh, centered around agility. This guy's centered around armor, so he can, you know, stand there and take a bit more damage. Um, but you know, you do, you are gonna, you know, want to get cover whenever possible. And I seem to always be fighting these guys. The ball. Jesus. This gun really does not hit that hard. I will say this, um... I love his grenade. Um, it's kind of funny too because it's it's essentially a flashbang, but it's like an explosive, just way overkill flashbang because this thing just blows the shit up out of everybody around him, and if it doesn't like outright kill them then they're, like, blind for a little while. That's why every now and then, like, when I'll use it, um, if you'll see, they got, like, a little, a, a dark cloud around their, uh, head. It's because they have no idea where the hell I am, they don't know what the hell's going on, so. They just invited us in. Yeah, they're, they're, like, out of it. Now, this is a mission that I already did a video for. It is a trap. Um, hi. But, I figure since this guy's getting pretty high up there in level, I wanted to show what this guy can do. Um, and, uh, one of the... I'm not going to say it's a key difference, but one of the funnier differences between this guy and, say, the hunter is, um, you know, when somebody gets up close to the hunter, he, you know, grabs his knife out and he, like, stabs him in the head or some shit. I'll show you what he does. Punch! He just punches you. Have another one. I think that's fantastic. This guy just outright punches you, and you're just done. There comes the rest of the party. And have a flashback. Watch this. Yeah. So you see that guy on top of his head? He's got like a black and red swirly. Uh, I'm gonna die. I don't. Yeah, I gotta get cover. But uh, yeah, it meant for like at least a little while there. He's um, you know, he's uh, kind of not fully with it. These guys are still a pain in the ass. So this guy is also um, a little different from my other guy because he's not using a rocket launcher for the third gun. Uh, he's got this giant ass belt fed machine gun. Which you would think, okay, well the rocket launcher would be better. Yeah, usually, but um, 
with the rocket launcher you can only carry like at most uh, five rockets and with this you at least can get a couple uh, I think like 200 rounds ow okay that's dumb unfortunately here's where the problem sets in with this gun the reloading Still, faster than, you know, most other video games where you got like a big belt-fed gun. Belt-fed gun. Oh shit. But, still longer than even the rocket launcher, which is amazing, because <laughs> that's usually not the way it goes. But, it's not a, uh... Okay, I'll get to work on this door. It doesn't, like, kill it for you. It's not like, you know... Uh, I'm not gonna bother using it now because it takes a whole four or five seconds to reload the damn thing. So, it's still manageable. I think that's what I really wanted to say was, it's manageable. Meow. Oh yeah, we gotta move back. A grenade, guys. A little harder to control this than with my other guy's rifle. Uh, of course, that one's like a one-shot, one-kill type of rifle. This one is, you know, you get a, you're holding it down. So it kind of tends to get a little crazy after a few seconds. Um, but again, it's not. It's not something that you can't deal with. It's a, uh, it's a pretty good machine gun, and I mean this is like crap. This is this is like green. Look at that. That's. Uh, do I have anything to get rid of? I do. I can get rid of this because I don't need this, and that I'm keeping. And yeah, we don't need that. So, still going. Now, this should look familiar to you guys, if you remember the, uh... We're getting close. I think it was the, the first one that I did for Destiny. Um... And... Oh, it's up there. Remember? The bridge. We have to cross that bridge. Yeah. So that's where I am. So, uh, if you guys remember, there was that one big guy, and then he kept bringing in a bunch of little guys, and, eh, you know, I'm just going through the story with this guy to get him up to level 20, because that is, that's the weird thing about this game. The highest level that you can get to is 20, but it's not. Because you saw with my other guy, he's like level 25 right now, right? Well, the story behind that is that um, once you hit 20, you see my guy's level 20, uh, 19 and it's progress 20 right there. Um, once you hit 20, you actually don't get any higher level. Um, what happens is that it's the the outfit or the the stuff that you're wearing, uh, mainly these. Um, they'll have what's on them uh, like here you can see it says discipline that adds to discipline which is this which lets him use his grenades quicker uh, strength lets him use storm fist I think that's just the punch and it's like a supercharged punch and then yeah fist of havoc is like he slams both his hands on the ground and it like just kills everything around him it's really really helpful when you're getting you know swarmed by a bunch of bunch of dudes um but uh with level 20 stuff you'll see that it also says light on it somewhere i would show you with my other guy but i can't pop in and out of characters like that so um when you equip gear helmet gauntlets uh chest armor kiris and uh leg armor <clears throat> at level 20 they'll say plus whatever number and light and the more light you have on your 
um, your dude, the higher level he gets. Does that make sense? Not really. It's different, yeah. Um, but sometimes different doesn't mean better. It just means what? So you guys have already all seen this, so I don't really think I need to show you the entire fight through it again. Uh, I don't want to bore you with that. Um, just wanted to show you what this guy, you know, does with his punch from hell. Um, although his supercharged thing is up, so I will show that before I end this, because I know I'm about to get mobbed by a bunch Straight of dudes. So, let's see a couple of you come over here. Yeah. That's crazy. It's some big old gorilla pound on the ground. You just, you just, like, decimate a whole bunch of guys in front of you. I mean, if there was, like, 20 guys in front of me, I would have killed them all. Anywho. Um, just gonna clear these guys out, and... Oh, that was true. The, um, one of the things about this game is uh, the way that the uh, weapons are like um, they're put into like primary this is primary and then secondary or special but it's really secondary and then heavy weapons which is it's always either a rocket launcher or a heavy machine gun um, those are the only two choices ow um with the secondary weapons or the special weapons you really only have two choices one is a sniper rifle like what I got right here and the other is a, um, a shotgun the shotgun hits really hard but you honestly have to be like within three feet of them I mean you gotta be right up next to somebody to, in order for it to really be you know, useful God, that punch is just crazy um, so, like, with this guy, I was using the, the shotgun for a little while there, but, um, it just, it's just not helpful enough, and since, like, he's got a full auto rifle here, and, you know, this thing is fully automatic, I kind of figured, nah, I need something with a little more range on it, so, I had to opt for the, uh, sniper rifle, because I figured, well, otherwise I'm not gonna hit anybody that's, like, you know, more than 20 feet away or something like that, so, have a grenade. You see the little swirly above their head? It goes away pretty fast, though. But still, it's, it's really nice to use that because, um, at least for a few seconds, uh, they're blind. And it really works against, um, so far, from what I've seen, it works against everything. So that's pretty cool. So I'm not going to show you this fight again because you guys have already seen it, and I don't need to. I mean, I need to do it for the for the job, but you know, I don't need to show you guys the same fight again. You know, that would be boring as hell. So I'll show you something later, um, something a little different. Okay, alrighty.